Mars is, without a doubt, one of the most extreme and challenging places in the entire solar system. Its surface, shaped by a complex geological history, once had similarities to Earth in the distant past. But today, it has become a vast alien desert, cold, dry, and full of dust. Even so, that same hostility has created interesting conditions for robotic exploration. The rovers sent there are able to operate relatively well in this environment, despite all the challenges. But there's a curious and even mysterious detail that grabs the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts. On certain occasions, these robots appear almost clean overnight, as if someone had gone to Mars and given them a good polish. This sudden cleaning, of course, isn't the work of some Martian janitor, but rather the result of a fascinating atmospheric phenomenon. The red planet's atmosphere is extremely thin and composed mostly of carbon dioxide. Still, it hosts weather events that dramatically change the local scenery. One of the most common elements there is dust, fine, reddish, and made up of tiny particles that stay suspended for long periods. This dust is rich in iron oxides, which gives the planet its characteristic hue, and it can be easily stirred up by relatively mild winds, gradually covering everything around it. During more intense events, like global dust storms, this layer of particles can completely block sunlight from reaching the surface, posing a major risk to ongoing missions. That's exactly what happened with the Opportunity rover, which stopped functioning after one of these storms. With its solar panels covered and its energy draining, it could no longer communicate with Earth. This is a clear example of just how powerful and dangerous Martian dust can be. But the problem isn't just about the accumulation on equipment. Martian dust also directly affects the planet's meteorology. It absorbs solar radiation and heats the upper layers of the atmosphere, causing changes in air circulation patterns and sharp temperature swings between day and night. So, far from being just an aesthetic detail, this dust is one of the most active and complex elements of the Martian climate. In addition, the composition of this dust is quite varied. It's mostly made up of silicates, iron oxides, sulfur, and traces of aluminum, calcium, and magnesium. The particles are less than 10 micrometers in diameter, which makes them not only lightweight, but also very abrasive and electrostatically charged. That means they tend to stick to metallic surfaces, which can damage moving parts and even pose risks to electronics, both on current probes and in future human habitats. Despite all these challenges, Martian dust also plays a surprisingly helpful role. In some cases, it can actually clean the solar panels on its own. This happens when small wind whirlwinds, known as dust devils, pass over the spot where the rovers are. These whirlwinds are like mini tornadoes that form when the air near the ground heats up faster than the air above, creating vertical currents. When this hot air rises while spinning, it lifts dust in its path and may just happen to sweep the rover's solar panels with a light gust. That's exactly what happened with both Spirit and Opportunity during their missions. On several occasions, NASA scientists were surprised to see the solar panel energy levels rise from one day to the next. The explanation? One of those dust devils had passed by and cleared off the accumulated dust, restoring the energy-generating capacity. These moments became known as cleaning events and, although unpredictable, helped extend the rover's lifespans far beyond expectations. Opportunity, for instance, was designed to last just 90 days, but ended up operating for nearly 15 years. What's interesting is that these dust devils are quite common on Mars. They've been recorded numerous times by cameras aboard rovers and orbiters, and some reach several dozen meters in height. A true miniature natural spectacle, happening on a world that seems calmer than it really is. Even the Viking lander, launched back in the 1970s, had already picked up signs of these phenomena. But it was with the more recent missions that we've been able to observe them more clearly and frequently. However, dust devils are a double-edged sword. While they can be helpful in cleaning solar panels, they also stir up more dust into the atmosphere, contributing to the wear and tear of instruments and interfering with optical measurements. For scientists, they represent a mix of opportunity and risk. Understanding more about how they form and behave is crucial for designing future missions that rely on solar energy, especially long-duration ones. Beyond the whirlwinds, the planet also experiences seasonal winds that sweep across entire regions, redistributing dust in cycles. At certain times of the Martian year, these air currents intensify and coat vast areas with a fresh layer of dust. This not only causes visual changes on the surface, with dunes disappearing and new formations emerging, but also affects the efficiency of solar panels and scientific instruments that rely on clean surfaces to function properly. 
Even with so many challenges, Martian exploration pushes forward. NASA, ESA, and other space agencies are constantly studying ways to reduce the effects of dust on equipment. One of the solutions being explored is the use of materials with dust-repellent properties, along with electrostatic technologies that can shake off dust from surfaces. There are also ideas for helper robots that would act like little cleaners, brushing off the panels of other equipment whenever needed. As we plan more complex missions, like sending humans to Mars, the challenges posed by dust become even more critical. Imagine living in an environment where the air is full of abrasive particles as fine as talcum powder that seep into every possible crevice. For astronauts, this means a constant risk, not only for the equipment, but also for their health. On the moon, for example, during the Apollo missions, astronauts reported serious problems with lunar dust getting into their spacesuits, causing skin and eye irritation. On Mars, with its even more persistent and electrostatic dust, the problems could be even worse. That's why future Martian habitats will need to be designed with advanced filtering, sealing, and decontamination systems. Even something as simple as entering a base after a walk outside might require an air shower system or an automated decontamination chamber that removes all the dust from suits before it has a chance to enter the living areas. In addition, the durability of materials used in Martian construction will be tested relentlessly by the constant abrasiveness of sandstorms. What's interesting is that, despite being an obstacle, the dust is also a valuable source of scientific information. Studying it helps scientists understand not only Mars's current climate, but also its geological past. The chemical composition of the dust can reveal details about erosion processes, the presence of minerals, and even traces of interactions with water in the planet's ancient history. In other words, the dust that today challenges engineers and astronauts is also a key to unlocking the Martian story. Probes and rovers continue to play a crucial role in this investigation. Perseverance, for instance, is equipped with instruments that analyze surface particles in search of organic compounds and signs of ancient life. Ingenuity, the small Martian helicopter, provides an aerial view that helps study how dust behaves in different areas and times of day. Each mission contributes data that not only expands our knowledge, but also guides the development of more resilient and efficient technologies for future exploration. In the end, Martian dust has become an unexpected protagonist in the space race. It challenges, wears down, interferes, but also teaches, reveals, and amazes. Understanding its secrets is essential for any future step toward colonizing Mars. And as we keep sending our robotic explorers, each speck of dust brings a clue, a story, and a powerful reminder that even the smallest elements can change the course of great journeys. If you enjoy exploring the mysteries of the universe and want to follow discoveries that could change humanity's future, subscribe to the channel right now, leave a like, share with fellow astronomy lovers, and comment below. Would you face Martian dust just to set foot on Mars? Let's take this journey through the secrets of space together. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.